In this lecture, we are going to learn about nested loops. So first of all, let's try to see what is nested loops. Now nested loop is a loop inside another loop. So whenever you insert a loop inside the already existing loop, that is called as nesting of loops. All right. So let's try to understand this by taking this example. Okay. Let's say you have got a favorite movie of yours, which you would like to watch in a repeat mode. Okay. So this movie is of 90 minutes long and you'd like to repeat this entire movie for three times. So you'd like to watch this entire movie for three times. So you can have a loop that will take care of running this entire movie for three times. So that loop will run for three times. Okay. Now, while this movie is on, there is a song in this movie starts at 37 minutes and then ends at 40 minutes. Okay. This song is of three minutes long duration. Okay. Now, what you would like to do is while this movie is being played, okay, whenever you reach to this point wherein your song starts, you'd like to repeat this song for two times. Okay. So, while you are repeating the movie, you would like to repeat playing this song. So this is called as nesting of loop. You are already having a loop here. Okay. That is looping your movie, right? Putting your movie in a repeat mode for three times. While you are doing that, whenever you reach to this point wherein the song start and the song ends here, once the song ends, you would like to play this one more time. Okay. So here I can say that the loop that runs for three times is the outer loop. Okay. Here outer loop takes care of how many times the movie plays. And then I can say that playing this song is the inner loop which takes care of how many times to play the song while the movie is on. Okay. So in total the song is played for six times because for each movie it is played for two times. So two times for the first iteration of the movie, two times for the second iteration of the movie and two times for the third iteration of the movie. So total it will be played for six times. That is the song is played for six times. So this is called as nesting of loops. Now let us try to put this entire scenario in a code. Okay. So I've already discussed that the outer loop will run for three times. That will take care of how many times the movie is going to be played. Okay. So let's say that this is controlled by the variable i. So the outer loop is controlled by the variable i and the inner loop, okay, inner loop is playing the song which is controlled by the variable j. Okay. So the outer loop runs for three times. So I can easily write it i equals to one. Okay. I must be less than equals to three i plus plus. This will make sure that my outer loop, this is the outer loop, okay, which runs for three times. So while this runs in a loop, it will start playing the movie from zero minutes. And once it reaches the 37 minutes, okay, it will have to loop it one more time. But before it goes to 37 minutes, it, ha it has to play this movie for the duration from zero minutes to 37 minutes. So inside this, I'll write play movie for the duration zero to 37 minutes. So first this one is done and then I'll have to loop this song for two times. So if I have to loop this song for two times, the inner loop, the yellow color one should run for two times. So this is controlled by the variable j. So I'll write j equals to one. Okay. j less than equals to two j plus plus. So this will make sure that the inner loop runs for two times. So here I'll write play a song. Okay. So this song is actually played for two times. So once the song is played for two times, it will come here. So from this point, okay, that is from 40 minutes to 90 minutes, now it has to complete the movie. Okay. So after this loop is done, I'll write down here, play movie. Okay. From how many minutes? From 40 minutes to 90 minutes. Okay. So once this is done, again, it will go back and then go to the outer loop. And then again, it will play the movie from zero to 37 minutes, this one. Okay. And then it will loop over this song for two times. Okay. Two times. And then it will play this movie from 40 minutes to 90 minutes. So this is done for the second time. Okay. It will again come back. And now again, you'll start playing your movie from zero to 37 minutes, this one. Okay. And then it will go to this inner loop. It will play this song for two times, one time. And then one more time, two times. Once this is done, it will play the movie from 40 to 90 minutes. So this is done finally. Okay. This will make sure that three times the movie is played. Well, the movie is being played each time the song is being repeated for two times. So this is called as 
nesting of loop so here this entire thing is called as the inner loop and this one is my outer loop okay now let us try to trace this entire code okay this is the code that's given here now first of all i is one okay so that means this one first of all i is one now we will check the condition i one is less than equals to three this is true okay if this is true it will get into the body of the loop okay so inside the body it will play the movie from 0 to 37 minutes so it will play the movie from 0 to 37 minutes okay and then so this is done then it will it will encounter the inner loop wherein j is initialized to 1 so j is initialized to 1 and check the condition 1 is less than equals to 2 is true if this is true it will get into the body of the inner loop so this is the body of the inner loop play song from 37 to 40 minutes so song is actually played from 37 to 40 minutes and then because this is the last statement of this for loop it will go and increment the value of j so now j becomes 2 j becomes 2 okay so whenever j becomes 2 it will check the condition 2 is less than equals to 2 is true this is true right if this is true it will again it will get into the body and play the song one more time so again the song is played one more time so song is played for second time here okay and then once song is played it will increment the value of j and now j becomes 3 then we will check the condition so the condition here actually is 3 is less than equals to 2 which is false okay if this is false now it will come out of the inner loop okay so what is the out of the inner loop so it will just exit from the inner loop and it will encounter the statement play the movie from 40 to 90 minutes so the movie will be played from 40 to 90 minutes so one iteration of the movie is done once this is done it will go back okay and then update the value of i so the new value of i would be 2 so now i am on the second iteration of the movie okay check the condition check this condition 2 is less than equals to 3 is true so it will get inside the body so play the movie from 0 to 37 minutes okay so the movie is played from 0 to 37 minutes into the inner loop j becomes 1 okay and this condition is true so it will get into the body of the inner loop so it will play the song from 37 to 40 minutes so this song is played once okay and then again increment the value of j now j becomes 2 it is in the inner loop j becomes 2 check the condition 2 less than equals to 2 is true get into the body of the inner loop play this song one more time so this song is played for one more time okay and then again increment the value of j j becomes 3 now check the condition 3 less than equals to 2 is false so it will come out of the inner loop so inner loop will exit so it will come to this point and then it will have to play the movie from 40 to 90 minutes so this is being played okay so once this is done you go back and increment the value of i so you are in the third iteration of the movie so this is how it works okay i'm not going to trace this entire thing i hope you have got an idea so here what you can consider is the inner loop is also of kind of a statement into the body of the outer loop in the outer loop there are you can say that there are three statements the first statement is to play a movie from 0 to 37 second statement is to repeat the song for two times and the third statement is a play a movie from 40 to 90 minutes okay so i hope by this you have understood how nesting of loop actually works okay if you have any doubt in this kind of a nesting you will have to do the tracing like this it will make your doubt clear okay so that's all in this lecture in this lecture we have learned what is nesting of loop okay and we have seen a real world example of nesting of loop wherein you are repeating a song while you are repeating a movie okay that is nesting of loop and then we have written down a program for that and then finally we have traced how it really works okay now this is not a complete program here we have this is just, just kind of a pseudo code because i have not written printf and all those things but i hope you have got an idea here okay so that's all in this lecture stay tuned